Jordan Smith here in Washington Terrace at 5483 South, 250 East. Here to show this uh, beautiful single level style Rambler. It does have a basement on it. It's considered a Rambler or a ranch home. So here's a view of the exterior of this home. It is in an HOA. This one was built in 1980 and it's very spacious, almost 3,500 square feet. And it sits in this community here. There's a pond down here at the bottom with uh, ducks and whatnot. They take care of snow. They come and do the landscaping and mow the lawn. Anyway, here's the front of the house. We'll go in and take you inside to have a look at it. So here's the other aspects of the neighborhood here view of the beautiful mountains up there. It's been snowing up there today and rainy down here. Some nice walking trails actually over here in Washington Terrace. The Ogden Regional Medical Center is basically just up there and take a left. Two-car garage as you walk in with some built-in shelving, epoxy flooring. This home is a little bit older. It's currently the property status is a trustee. You walk in and just off here to the left is the laundry area. So nice that it's got some um, cabinets, some uppers there and side-by-side -side washer dryer. Little sink here to fill the wash clothes. Folding counter. And just off of here is the master. So very spacious, a little bit older carpets and drapes and whatnot, and you got the old track lighting. But condition-wise, it's in excellent, excellent shape. And it feels like you're walking on a cloud here on this carpet. Very plush, nice pad on it. Other than the color, if uh, that's not your thing, it's in phenomenal shape. Cabinetry is nice, granite countertops. A little bit of a medicine cabinet area with some pull-out drawers. These are nice. You can see they're dovetailed there, so good, solid cabinetry. Lighting above. And then off here, there is a three-quarter. So you have a toilet. You have a shower right there. Try and get a better view of that. All in really good shape. You do have the wallpaper, but hey, some of that stuff's coming back in. Here is the downstairs. We'll circle back over here in a minute. We'll take you down there. There's actually another kitchen down there too, which is super awesome. So another bathroom here. This is a full in good shape. You know, they've updated some of the flooring in here and you do have a skylight above, so you get some natural light, but that is a tiled shower and looks to be in really good condition. A couple of bedrooms here. So you have a bedroom here with a ceiling fan, closet. And the appeal of these uh, homes here is really that uh, you can all have all of your living on one floor. So the master, the primary suite and everything else. And it's all on one floor, no stairs. And then if you did have you know, some some younger family members living with you. You could rent out the basement or whatnot, or if you just wanted to utilize it for, you know, family gatherings like a Super Bowl or a Christmas party, there's plenty of space and bedrooms down there to accommodate visits. There's kind of this breezeway between here where it's just this open space in the middle. Not exactly sure what it's for, but there's a big skylight above there. And, uh, glass and doors on both sides so I'm sure you could probably pull this portion out or um, you know frame this off and actually turn this into just its own bedroom and make this into a giant closet or something with a skylight that might be what I would consider doing here's the living area it does have this gas fireplace there 
a lot of space in here and it's beautiful with all that brick all the way up really do feel like you could do you know some some updating and remodeling on this and it would be really really nice with some updates we'll open this up just so you can get a peek outside but you have this patio area here grill little fence and then there's kind of like this little creek that runs through there shut that but uh, you get a good look at that patio there here's the upstairs kitchen where these were built in the 80s and 90s they had a lot of this uh, step up and step down um, type of flooring but this is great this hardwood is in awesome awesome shape windows look to be updated big open kitchen lots of cabinetry counter space nice white uh, appliances frigidaire these are actually become a lot more expensive these white appliances than stainless steel excellent dish dishwasher gas on the stove you can put a table on over there underneath that uh, little chandelier piece but these floors I can't emphasize enough in what good shape these hardwood floors are in they look really nice looks like they updated the counters at some point they look nice dishwasher there to be very very new so that kind of wraps up the upstairs we didn't come through the main door here because I was having problems with that door lock but you got some stained glass there as you walk in you have coat closet here which is nice and then the hallway you could probably use with some updated carpet here it's a little bit dated I mean Everything in here is a little bit dated, but condition-wise, really phenomenal shape. I didn't show this either, but super deep cupboard here, so. Go ahead and have a peek downstairs. So off on my right here, I have the utility room. They have a built-in sink and kind of work area here, so that's nice. I love some of these older things to to store all the knickknacks. You see this sometimes with the older generation. Sold the house for somebody who they had passed, but they served in World War II, I believe, and they, you know, had hung on to a lot of different things like that. It's kind of a different different era where things were a little bit more scarce, hard to come by. Updated furnace there, the tankless water heater and the water softener that looks to be a Navian. Those are nice, those tankless water heaters. You got this air filtration system here. Another panel. So there's a peek at the panel. And then here is cold storage, so nice as well. So one thing that this condo does not lack is space. So here is the second living room, second fireplace, and second kitchen. Other than the paint being, you know, interesting color, there's a lot of things to really like. There's those built-ins that are nice. This gas fireplace in excellent shape. I think you put, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars into repainting, updating carpet. This could be an excellent option. So here is your second kitchen. It's got everything down here. Don't have a fridge currently, but it's not entirely difficult to get a fridge in here. You do have 
sink, microwave, stove, dishwasher, but plenty of space to put in a fridge and have a table down here and util utilize this as a as a rental or uh, hosting you know people who are coming over here. Really awesome size bedroom, huge closet. This could be utilized as a second master because you technically do have ensuite. You do have access here from the hallway as well. But uh, solid, solid, solid bathroom. Three quarter there. Great shape. Just a little bit uh, older style, if you will, but uh, no need to change anything out or whatnot. Brand new toilet. Doesn't even look like that thing has ever been used. Spin around. So additional storage in here. get a feel for how deep this is. It goes, comes back here probably 15 feet. Storage underneath the stairs here. And then another bedroom here. This bedroom does have a sink in it, which I guess that's nice for getting ready and whatnot. It's got a closet. And then they all have uh, heaters. Each one of them has an electric heater down here. Might be a little bit more expensive to to heat, but uh, each one of these rooms got its own heating unit. So pretty cool. So that kind of wraps up our, our journey here and tour of this home in Washington Terrace, Utah, 5483. 250 West and it's a condo. It's listed at 447. They caught they said it was four bedrooms and three baths. It seemed like there were more bedrooms. There's one here. Second here. There's some extra space upstairs, whether you utilize them for an office or a bedroom. I guess technically not bedrooms, but you could easily turn this into five, six bedrooms, no problem. So it's been another journey with Jordan, a Utah property home tour. Thanks so much for coming out and taking a peek at these super popular condos. If you have any questions or you'd like to arrange a showing, just let me know if there's properties in Weber or Davis County that you're interested in getting a virtual tour like these or going on a journey with Jordan, let me know as well. If you're enjoying this content, please be sure to hit and smash that subscribe button and let me know what we can do to improve these showings and make it beneficial for all. Thanks again and have a wonderful, wonderful Friday.